Hello and welcome to DTWG the Prep. Welcome. Okay, so in today's video, we're going to be looking at finding the greatest common factor in algebra. Okay, you no, know, we do the GCF, which we can do in on numbers. You you would actually see it see it apply in numbers, but you know in algebra, when the the letters the alphabet starts coming in, it starts getting confused <laughs> for most people. You know, the alphabet with the powers, how do you factor it out and all that? You start getting confused. But in this video, I'm going to run through. You see these 12 questions? We are doing it together. And I know that after this video, any questions like this you have, you will be able to conquer it in your GED. And why this is important is because in quadratic equations, you know, solving the uh, quadratic equations with something like this you have a 5x square maybe plus a 7x plus 9 solving something like this you need the knowledge of greatest common factor so i always that's what i'm that's what i'm doing you know when i'm tutoring one-on-one -on -one, i always teach this before i go into um you know factoring and solving this particular quadratic equation and you always find this in your gd you always find at least one question in your GED test. Okay, so you need to know how to solve this. All right, it's quite easy. Don't worry, after this video, the next one, we now delve into you know, solving this particular quadratic equation. I have done that, which is just, you know, quadratic equation without, with the coefficient one, which you see something like x squared plus seven x, plus nine okay that you just see something like this it's easy to solve this but when it comes here to this there's a bit of you know there's some things that you need to know a trick you need to play okay and an easy one i'm going to teach you so don't worry about it all right so focus on this uh, and let's learn this greatest common factor in algebra please 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 if you aren't subscribed to this youtube channel please please do subscribe to this youtube channel give this video a thumbs up please it helps me on youtube and uh, share this video with your friends family and love and loved ones you can check our website for summary notes study guides free practice uh gd math formula sheets okay all on dtwgdprep.com you can also join our facebook group okay wonderful community twenty two thousand members wonderful to ask your question as regards the GED, be it in whichever state or country you are, in California, in Florida, you need to know about the GED test online, offline, looking for a center, looking for scholarships. You can just drop your question on the group and we have a loving community that would support you. You know, so many people have gone through such experiences in several states. They are on the group to support you. If you also require one-on-one -on -one tutoring, please do contact me. All the details, links, I would leave in the video description box of this video. Okay, now let's get on to solving this question. So number one says, find the GCF of this. You have 4x squared y and 8xy cube. Now, finding the GCF, which is the greatest common factor. All right. So, what is a factor? A factor is a number, okay, that when you divide it by this other number, it gives you a whole number without a remainder, okay, or a remainder. All right. So, that is a factor. So, you can see that between 4 and 8, 2 is a factor because when we divide 4 by 2, it gives us a whole number 2. Divide 8 by 2, it gives us a whole number 4. Okay? But it is not the greatest factor. We can use 4. Are you with me? Another way you can learn this is just put down 4 and 8 and write each individual factors. For 4, the factors of 4 is 1, 2, and 4. The factors of 8 is 1, 2, 4, and 8. Do you see that? So, how many common factors does 4 and 8 have? It has 2, right? It has actually 3. 1 and 1, 2 and 2, 4 and 4. They are common factors they have. But you have to use the greatest. And what is the greatest? It is 4. Okay, so that's why it's called the greatest common factor. So it is 4. 
So we bring out four. So let us clean all this. So four is a common factor. So we bring out four. Okay. Always start with the numbers. Now you go to the variables. That these are the letters. Now the first letter here is X. Okay. And we have another X here. So here we have this. This is X square. And this is X. Okay. So what are the factors of X square? We have one X and X, right? And here we have one and X because, you know, this is two X. We have one X and X square. I mean, sorry. Okay. Are you with me? So, and for this, we have one and X. Now, what is the greatest common factor here for the variable? It is what X. So for this two, we have X. Now, for Y and letter Y and this, you know, you only compare to look for the factors in variables. When you have one factor here, the same factor here and the same, then you try to look for the greatest common factor. So we have here Y and we have here Y cube. So what are the factors of Y? It's one and Y. What are the factors of Y cube? We have one, Y, Y square, and also Y cube. So these are the factors. And what is the greatest common is what Y. So we bring out a Y. And you see that we have factored out these two expressions. And are you seeing that? So this is the answer to factoring out these two expressions. Okay. Another way you can try to confirm your answer is when you divide this by this 4X, Y. Divide this by this 4X, Y. Okay, this cancels out. Well, x cancels 1x here. We're left with x. This y cancels this y. We drop down what we're left with, which is x. And 4 cancels out in 8. How many times? 2. This x would cancel out this x. Okay, to give us 1. All right. And y would cancel out 1y from here. We're going to be left with y square. Do you see that? We're going to be left with y square. Okay, and you will notice that when you use this factor that we factored out, when you use this to multiply these two, you should get 4x squared and 8xy cubed. Should we test this? 4x squared times this would give us what? That is 4x times x is x squared, then y. 4xy times this will give us 4 times 8 is uh, 2 is 8. Okay, there's no x here, so we drop x. And y times y is y cubed. You can see we've gone back to this. So it means we are correct with this factoring. So our right answer here is 4xy. Do you see that? I have really, really broken down greatest common factor here. Okay. So this is the method we're going to use. All right. Okay. For the second one, I'm going to do this step. But for the rest, I won't do this. All right. Because I know by now you should you should be able to get it when I like, you know, go through it a bit fast. <laughs> All right. Okay. So let me clear the screen. Now for this we have 12 A square B square and 18 A cube B square C. So 18 and uh, 12 and 18. What are the factors? Let us look for that. 12 is 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, and 18. And 12, sorry. And 18 is 1, 2, 3, 6, 9, and 18. These are the factors of 18. How many are common? We have this, we have this, and we have this. And what is the greatest? It's 6. So 6 is the greatest common factor of 12 and 18. So we'll bring out 6. Now, what is the greatest common factor of A square? We have A square here. We also have A cube here. So we'll go A square, A cube. What are the factors? We have 1, A, and A square. Here we have 1, A, A square, and A cube are the factors of this guy. So what is the greatest? The greatest here is what? A square. Can you see that? That's the greatest. Okay. This is, the, this is common. This is also common. But the greatest is A square. So we bring out A square. Now we have B. We have B square here. Right. Oh, sorry. This is B cube. 
we have b cube and we have b square here so it's almost like the same thing okay but let's let me just write it down you know to help everyone out okay so the the factors are one b b square and b cube okay these are the factors because when you divide by divide by this you have just b okay so we have one b and b square and what is the greatest is what b square so we have b square all right the final one is c c is here c isn't here so we leave c c is not a factor because they are not there's no c here so it's not a factor so we have this as our answer do you see that so this is how you factor okay now for this we have 9 x cube y square z square 15 x square y z cube for 9 and 15 okay i'm quickly going to do this the greatest common factor of 9 and 15 is 3 okay when you when you do tabulate it okay let me just do it here so you see okay so this is 1 3 and 9 for 5 for 15 this is 1 3 5 and 15 you can see 3 is the greatest common factor so we drop 3 for this guy and this guy it is x square that's the factor for y square and y you have y and for z square and z cube you have z square so this is our greatest common factor for this two expression for 20 a b square c cube and 30 a square b cube c square the greatest common factor is a 10 okay of the for the numbers for the letters a and a square is a b square and b cube is b square c cube and c square is c square so so this is our greatest common factor now for this one here that's five x raised to the power four y cube and ten x x square y square z square okay five would definitely be the greatest common factor so five for x and x square here it's an x square okay for y cube and y square here is a y square now this is z you can see z is just here z isn't here so there's no common factor so our final answer is this do you see that okay now let's get on to factoring which is quite close to uh you know uh quadratic equation so how do you factor this so in quadratic equations you do this you know since we have an operation here all right we find what's the greatest common factor of three and nine still the same logic that you apply here but here now there's a sign okay so the greatest common factor of three and nine is three so you put three here and what is the greatest common factor of x squared and x is x now what is the remainder okay to find the remainder divide this by your 3x which is your factor divide by 3x which is your factor okay this 3 would cancel this 3 x would cancel out this x 1x here we're going to be left with just x so we drop down x plus 3 in 9 we go 3 times we drop down 3 and this x would cancel out this x so our final answer is this 3x in parentheses x plus 3 and to test that you're correct open up the parentheses remember distributive property 3x times x gives us 3x squared and 3x times 3 gives us which will be times positive 3 will give us a positive 9x which is the same as this do you see that so this is how you factor all right so your your answer would be something like this now we have this we have 4x squared minus 12x our common factor here we can bring out the 4 greatest common factor and we can also bring out an x all right so what are we going to be left with divide by 4x divide by 4x 4 would cancel out this 4 and uh, x would cancel out one x here so we have x minus uh, 4 in 12 will go 3 times x would cancel out x as 1 so that will be 3 times 1 which will give us 3 so this is our answer when you multiply you would get the same as this for this you can see how easy it is now for this you have 
x squared plus 5x. Now, you don't have a number here, or you have an invisible one, all right? So there's no common factor to bring out for the number side. But let us look at the variable. We have x squared here, we have x, so we can bring out an x. Are you with me? So we bring out an x, and we're going to be left with here x plus 5. And when you open the parentheses, you're going to get this back. For this, you can see how easy and smooth it is. For this now, what is what is the common factor? So common greatest common factor of the number is what five. So and one of the variables is x. So we we'll bring out x. We're going to be left here x minus when you divide five x by this uh uh fifteen x by five x you're going to get what? A three, okay? So we have factored this. Now for six x squared plus 18 x, our greatest common factor will be six for the numbers. Then for the variable, we bring out an x. We're going to be left here with just one x. That's when we divide by six x, divide by six x plus, this would give us a three. Do you see that? Six will cancel x will cancel one x to be left with one x that's what we brought down here now number two uh, to 11 we have x squared minus 10 x we have what is for the numbers our greatest common factor is two for the variables we have x so we're going to be left with when we divide by 2x divide by 2x what do we, what are we going to be left with two would cancel two x will cancel out one x here to be left with x we have x then minus two would cancel 10 to give us five and x will cancel x to be one so you know it cancels out so we you know and one times the five gives us five so that's why we have this five here so we have factored our final one here nine and 27 we're going to have a nine okay now for the variables we're going to have an x and what will be left when we divide by 9x, divide by 9x, we're going to be left, 9 will cancel 9, all right, as give us 1, and x will cancel 1x here, we're going to be left with just 1x, and 1 times x is x minus 9 will, will in 27 will go 3 times, this x will cancel out this x to give us 1, and 3 times 1 is 3. So our final answer is this, 9x in parentheses, x minus 3. Okay, so that's how you find the greatest common factor or the GCF in algebra. And we're going to be applying this knowledge now in quadratic equation. That's the next video. So thank you. Thank you so much for staying tuned to the end of this video. And um, please do give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to our YouTube channel, share this video with your friends, family, loved ones. You can check our website, gdtwgedprep.com for summary notes, study guides, free practice uh, questions, um free downloads you can join our facebook group okay and uh you can contact me for one-on-one -on -one tutorial all links will be in the video description box of this video and finally don't forget that jesus christ is coming soon give your life to christ for he's the way he's the truth and he's the life he's the one who's going to lead us to heaven at last for there's a life after death which is heaven he's also the one that can give us heaven on earth is the one that can help us in our affairs here, in whichever challenges we're going through, whatever battles we're going to, through, be it in marriage, be it in, in, you know, in your life, in your kids' life, in whichever financial low self-esteem, self whichever battle, Jesus would give us victory. Come to him today. Cast all your burdens on him today, and he would give you rest. Okay? He's here for you. All right, and he's the one who will lead you home to heaven at last. Give your life to Jesus, for he is coming very soon. All right, so thank you, and see you in our next video. Um, I wish you success in life and also in your GD test. You are destined to win. You are destined to win. Take care.